Welcome to Reality Scoop, please hit that like button and notification bell. Clicking subscribe would be a great help too. It's free for you, but means the world to us. Thank you. Now on with our video. Are you ready to embark on a journey that will tantalize your taste buds, ignite your culinary creativity, and awaken your senses to a world of vibrant flavors? Look no further, because you've just stepped into the aromatic realm of Spice Guys. At Spice Guys, we believe that every dish is an opportunity for culinary artistry. From the sultry smokiness of barbecue to the lively zest of citrus, our range of blends spans the culinary spectrum. Our offerings cater to all palates and cuisines, allowing you to experiment, create, and reimagine dishes with endless possibilities. Here at Spice Guys, we're not just selling spices, we're selling experiences. From the sizzle of Brazilian barbecue to the tantalizing heat of Indonesian spices, we're your partners in bringing global flavors to your kitchen. Get ready to be a culinary virtuoso, surprising your loved ones and impressing your taste buds with every meal. Liam had always been the epitome of sophistication. A tall, impeccably dressed Englishman who carried himself with an air of effortless grace. His suits were always perfectly tailored, his shoes polished to a mirror shine, and his accent carried the weight of centuries-old traditions. But beneath this polished exterior lay a streak of cruelty that only a few had ever glimpsed. David, on the other hand, was a humble and kind-hearted soul from South Wales. He had known Liam since their university days in Oxford, where they had formed an unlikely friendship. David admired Liam's confidence and worldliness, while Liam appreciated David's unwavering loyalty and sincerity. After university, their paths had diverged, with Liam climbing the corporate ladder in London and David returning to his hometown to teach at a local school. It was a crisp autumn afternoon when Liam decided to visit David in South Wales. David was excited to show his old friend around his quaint town and catch up on old times. Welcome to South Wales, Liam. It's been too long. Liam smiled, though his eyes remained cold. Indeed it has. Show me around then. David took Liam on a tour of the town, showing him the local sites and introducing him to some of the townsfolk. They ended the day at David's modest home, where David had prepared a hearty Welsh dinner. They laughed and reminisced about their university days. And for a moment, it seemed as though the years had melted away. After dinner, they sat in David's cozy living room, sipping on tea. David was animatedly explaining the latest advancements in educational technology, particularly his new Apple Watch, which he found immensely useful for his teaching. An Apple Watch, really, David? You always were one for gadgets. It's not just a gadget, Liam. It's incredibly helpful. You should get one. Liam listened with a faint, mocking smile playing on his lips. His smile widened, but there was a sharp edge to it. Oh, I don't think so. Without warning, Liam reached out and snatched the Apple Watch from David's wrist. David looked surprised but laughed, thinking it was a joke. Liam, give it back! But Liam didn't hand it back. Instead, he stood up, placed the watch on the floor, and before David could react, stomped on it with his polished shoe. The sound of crunching glass and metal filled the room, and David stared in horror as his prized possession was reduced to a pile of broken parts. Liam, what are you doing? It's just a gadget, David. You shouldn't get so attached. David felt a surge of anger and sadness. He had always known Liam could be callous, but this was a new level of cruelty. Why would you do that? It was important to me. Because I can, and because you need to learn not to place so much value on material things. Get out of my house and never come back. For a moment, they stood there, the air thick with tension. Fine. This place is beneath me anyway. He grabbed his coat and walked out, leaving David standing alone in his living room, staring at the remnants of his crushed Apple Watch. As the door closed behind Liam, David sat down and took a deep breath. He realized that the friendship he had cherished for so long was built on a foundation that had long since crumbled. Liam's cruelty had shattered not just a watch, but the illusion of their bond. 
David picked up the broken pieces of the watch, vowing to never let someone like Liam into his life again. It was a painful lesson, but one he knew he needed to learn. From that day forward, he would surround himself with people who valued kindness and respect, leaving behind the toxic remnants of his past. And as for Liam, he walked away without a second thought, his laughter echoing in the crisp autumn air. Thank you for watching our content. I hope you enjoyed it. We here at Reality Scoop certainly had fun creating it for you. Please like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, please push that notification bell to be notified when new content is released. We upload every Friday 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 6 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Thank you.